Hey everybody, Josh Tatum here with Tatum Farms. Hope everybody's doing great today. Um, today I'm going to show you if we caught that rabbit or not that I was talking about in the last video that's been eating all my dadgum strawberries. You know, at first I was going to blame it on my wife. She loves strawberries. and um, I Usually I'd tell her to go out in the garden and pick stuff if there's stuff need to be picked, except for strawberries. I think she comes home and goes straight to the strawberries, see if there's one or two there she can eat. So she uh, she's bad about eating them. So which I, I I'm the same way. I'm not a not a fan of store bought strawberries. I won't buy them. I won't eat them. But if I grow them, I'm gonna eat them. So I'm hoping we caught that rabbit. But before we do that, we I've got to feed everything and make sure everything's got water. Cause uh, here in Oklahoma today, it's going to be warming back up. We've been pretty fortunate the last week or so. Um, but cooler weather. It's kind of Oklahoma's kind of been odd the last few years, so we've actually had decent amount of rain the last few years, and uh, so I figured this year'd be a drought, but it hasn't been yet. I mean, it's starting to burn up now, but we're in July, so I mean, right now we should be. You shouldn't see no green grass, so, but we actually still have green grass around here, so which uh, been really really blessed with that. So um, got to do the same same old thing. Again this morning, feed the chickens and the, the pigs. I heard the pigs hollering at me a while ago. So uh, we'll do that. And I need to pick some stuff in the garden, so I'm gonna take y'all along for that. And then we'll go check that trap, see if we got that dang rabbit. And uh, hopefully we do this morning. Hopefully we caught the sucker so we can get it out of there. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Now that we got all the feeding done, let's uh, let's pick some okra now. Um, I haven't picked it in a few days. I can't remember. It's been two or three days. I try to pick it every other day. But if any of y'all work nights, you know that you don't know if today's tomorrow, yesterday's today, or what it is. I mean, it's just working nights screws up your schedule. Or it does mine anyways, because when I'm off, I stay up. So I don't keep the same same hours of sleep and um so it just really really messes with me so i think i may be i think i may be a day behind on on picking okra so some of it may be um a little big and start start getting um once it gets starts getting too big it starts getting hard and we end up just cutting it up and throwing it throwing it to the chickens so um easiest way i find to pick it is guys go in your Go in the house somewhere your wife's got a pair of scissors. Um, don't let her know you got them because she may not want you to have them. But I stole these from in, inside. They're my wife, so she actually she knows I got them. So y'all don't go try to rat me out to get me in trouble. Uh, she's she's pretty good about just letting me use, use the stuff if I need it. As long as I don't tear it up, which sometimes I tear stuff up. <laughs> so, um, so we're going we're gonna to get started. Um, got my sweet tea here you know I didn't know until a few years ago that they make this stuff called unsweet tea you know here here in the south most of us like drinking sweet tea except for I know these these two older people in my life that they will drink unsweet tea and I just I, I just don't understand them um, they're, they're actually my mom and dad they, they drink unsweet tea you know, I like a little bit of tea with my sugar, and that's how I drink it. Uh, I'm not old enough to drink coffee, so I got to drink sweet tea. That's what keeps me going. So, um, but anyways, back to um, picking okra. So, um, let's get started. I got two rows of it. Well, two in a, in a partial row. I had to replant it because of some seeds I got 
um, wasn't very good. And this area right here that it's planted in on the end of the garden, it's uh, kind of uh, on a little lower, lower spot. So um, this year, like I was saying earlier, in Oklahoma, this it's been a weird, weird few years. We had a lot of rain, so a lot of that stayed underwater for a little bit. So um, had to replant it and didn't get as much as I wanted to um, out of it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get what it what it puts off this year. Next year we're gonna do some stuff different. So let's get to picking. Okay, so we just got an ochre picked. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit different in the sizes. Um, like I was saying, I think I went a day or so too long picking, and apparently I missed some the, the last time I picked because um, I'm gonna show you. Right there is probably about the size you want it. It's kind of hard to tell from the, from the camera here, but you want them two or three inches or so long and uh, here's one that I that I picked that um, was a little overdue. That thing right there, you can see, um, it's probably gonna be be a little little tough to eat compared to that one right there. So um, wife will probably end up cutting that one up, and we'll end up feeding it to the the chickens. Right there's what we end up end up getting today. So not too bad. So we'll uh, we'll pick it here in a in a couple more days, and probably get that much more or more. All right, y'all ready to see if we caught that dang rabbit? Let's look and see. Well, looky there, we got them. I, I checked the trap when I came in. Oh, probably 12, 30, 1 o'clock this morning, and it was still set. So sometime after that, that sucker come in, thought he was going to get a free meal. Well, he got his last free meal, a couple of tomatoes and some lettuce. Don't look like he ate too much on them. Probably been scared to death in there, but... I really don't care. He's still my strawberries. That's all that matters. We got him. So um, we're going to relocate him. And uh, far away from here, that way he don't come back. And uh, start stealing them again. Kind of freaking out, but if I was in cage, I'd be freaking out too. Well, he or her is tucked away safe in the back of the truck. And no, I know there's a gas can by it. I'm not going to go burn the dang thing. I ain't that mean. We're stowing it back there. Going to go uh, relocate them. And uh, that way we don't have this problem again. So he's back here. He's going to have a safe ride back here. Get some wind in his hair. He'll be thinking he's running really, really fast. All right. So he's going to take that rabbit over the 20 acres in that way. I gotta go over there anyways. That way, that sucker will be way away from it. So it's just going to make new, uh, new friends and find a new family to live with. So uh, me and Foxy, you can see her over there. She's panting. She's so excited about going. She used to go with me everywhere I went until I took a uh, had to get a real job, and uh, now she don't get to go with me. To, uh, so I try to still take her every time I leave the house and. Uh, be in my personal truck so we're gonna run over there and uh, release the beast and check on the cows make sure miss v's still doing good make sure they got plenty of water so i will see y'all over there well we made it finally come on foxy so and check on them to see i don't see them right now but they may be in the in the barn Sorry, I'm not very coordinated. I can't open the combination lock and talk. All right. Let's grab some pliers and 
turn this water on. I keep it off of the meter. Actually, let's let this bunny go. He's been in the baby truck. I bet he's hot. Oh, let's do that real quick. He's been running back here so patiently. Don't even know he's loose. There he goes. He'll find some new family and friends over here. Oh, he ain't in my dang garden. Alright. Got flyers. Let's kick this water on. I know they've been sucking it down as warm as it's been here. All right, I'm going to set y'all down. Fuck, come on. All right. Come on, girl. Let's go check on them and see how they're doing. I see one or two heads in the barn, so. Like nice and cool in there. Throw this water hose off in here. I didn't be feeling it. I've got a uh, put some frost free hydrant in here. And uh, when I turned it on one day, it wasn't cold or nothing. It ain't been turned on in probably several months. And the dang top of it came off. So, it's just uh, what I thought were halfway decent faucets, but apparently they're not the one that the house is leaking. So, you see they've been bedded down around here. See that hydrant? The dang top just broke off. So, that's how I'm feeling that, that water up right there. There's cow and calf. Now, if we find Miss B. Go around here. All right, finally found her. Foxy, leave the cow alone. Come on. All right, there was some feet I found sitting on the side of the highway, fell off somebody's truck, so free cubes. Well, I appreciate y'all uh, tagging along with me today, and um, we got got rid of that rabbit. Well, we we uh, rehomed it. As everybody says what we did was we we dumped the sucker over at 20 acres. That way, it can live a good, healthy life, eat whatever it wants to over here. For now, one of these days or one of these years, I'm going to try some grow some stuff over here. Um, Lord willing and able. So right now, that rabbit's safe. Sorry, y'all can hear uh, Foxy panting right there. She, uh, she's she got plenty of water, but she just don't want to drink it. She just wants there to sit and pant and bug me. So but that's all right with her anyways. So um, make sure y'all subscribe, share the video, tell everybody about us. Um, that way we can, we can get more and more subscribers, more people watching. 
Um, but I really do, I appreciate every single one of y'all. And um, so I'm Josh Tatum with Tatum Farms, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, probably one of the next ones I do is going to be something to do with the uh, pumpkins we planted. So make sure and um, click the little bell. That way you get a notification when, we, when a new video pops up. That way you don't miss a thing. So I will see y'all on the next one. Thank y'all.